If you were given two minutes on a stage, what would you say? It was really special to have the opportunity to share my story and have people hear what I had to say. I needed to be around people that had the same passion for writing as I did and that I really wanted to be motivated. Um, going out there and doing the performance and sort of um, doing it, I sort of I sort of felt like the boogie monster wasn't that scary anymore and I had finally faced my fear of just sort of being vulnerable. So we're going to start a bit quiet, yep. We're going to work our way up for Hatch Miller. <laughs> Dear Sri Lanka, my old friend, it's been a while since I've seen you and I want your company to be something familiar again. I love you. These words escape my lips and I can't reel them back in and I wouldn't want to even if I could because some place, somewhere, someone needs to hear them. So Common Ground is a project that began with um, Sukhdeep, Aussie Sikh rapper, and he decided that it was important to bring the Muslim and Sikh community together um, through spoken word, through rap, through expression, to create that interface dialogue that was really necessary um, post 9-11. Projects evolved from going from just the Sikh and Muslim community to opening up to all communities, all faiths, no faith, whatever background you are. Coming to this space and working alongside people that are, you know, doing it with you, doing it together, it really is really encouraging knowing that there's other people trying to achieve the same things. You take yourself out of your real life, real world, and you just commit for a couple hours each day. It gives you that time to reflect on all the different things that are happening in your life and actually put it into something productive and something positive. The first workshop um, included a lot of get to know you, icebreakers, introduction to spoken word, history of spoken word, what our identities are, perhaps what topics that we'd be interested to talk about. The second workshop went um, deeper into your identity and really thinking about you and um, using some poetry exercises, um, writing exercises to explore how you see yourself and how the world sees you and perhaps what you want to do with those things. I've come to these workshops like with all this stuff inside me and that I'm starting to be able to work through that through poetry and that I was able to be listened to and that people liked what I had to say and it was just really great also to support the other participants in what they had to say and to listen to them and, and, and celebrate their voices. Um, like theory and practicality and actually an outcome where you can be like I actually achieve something so you can feel that accomplishment. I'm also going to take away a confidence to talk about things that actually matter to me, not to censor myself uh, it, it, when it comes to like culture and religion because I've been in a place where there's now like a lot of different people who face different struggles, different um, adversities on a daily basis and it's really inspired me to hear everyone's stories. The third workshop included things such as authenticity, how to find your authentic voice, we had some discussions on the Australian identity. How does the world see Australia? What does it mean to be Australian? And perhaps where do we belong in this whole narrative? Uh, the fourth workshop, we went into editing and really harnessing the topics that the participants wanted to share. What's something that you've been wanting to say to Australia? The fourth workshop really felt like a writer's group. It really felt like we were all very much on the same sort of level. And I was definitely learning a lot more from that too on techniques that I could do in my own writing. And then the fifth workshop we completed was the performance workshop and learning how to get those that text from the page to the stage and how to how to deal with nerves, how to deal with your confidence levels, what you should be doing with your voice, what kind of tone to use, and then also with your body, what kind of body language you want to portray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right now. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my elbow is resting. Your first words are going to be your poem. No? Okay. 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 You know, I've got so much more than what I expected I would get, which is like, you know, friendships within three or four days and that are going to go beyond this workshop. Um, Ifra is a newbie to Australia. She's from Pakistan and she loves eating biryani. Don't we all? 
<laughs> and she's a die-hard Grey's Anatomy fan. So to make her welcome, we're going to do the fairy claps once again. And as I raise my hand, we're going to get louder and louder for Ifra! Back home, crossing roads and finding your way is a scene out of an action movie. You're meant to duck and jump and literally not get killed. So it's weird to see people walk into traffic and not worry about getting hit. Because they've got rights and lawyers and they can sue that stupid git. <laughs> It'll get better, I guess. I'm not back to the same person as I was before. There are scars that will never heal and a wound still left open. There's a notion of us and them and I am always them. I love you and it's time we meant it. Together, cause you don't know. 